Hi, this is John with The Evolving World. Today I'm doing a video on a, on a Bosch PowerMax Level 2 Charger. I just bought this for my car. Got it on eBay for $289. Won the auction on Thursday. It arrived Friday morning. Super great deal. Brand spanking new. And uh, very happy with my purchase here. So I'm going to do a little video on it. Um, this is going to be installation video and also... Uh, just impressions of it. I mean, it should be pretty basic. I mean, this is going to be a pretty simple video. There's not really much going on here. It's just a charger. I mean, it's not really the actual charger. It's really just a cord adapter is really all it is. But um, these things go for like $600, $700, um, $800. This one, I think, is more like $500. But anyway, got a great deal on eBay. Couldn't pass up the deal. So anyway, let's go ahead and uh, just kind of show you what we get. This is how it comes out of the box. I just opened up the box right here. So this is what you're mostly paying for, is this big fat cord right here. So this is the 18 foot model, and it's a 30 amp. There's actually three variations of this one. Um, so yeah, this is what you get. You get a mounting bracket, pretty simple. And you get instructions, and you get a couple of screws here for the, uh, for the mounting uh, bracket right here. You're going to need some additional leg bolts to bolt into a wall. Or we're going to do a very inter interesting inst installation in my garage, because I have an outlet that's mounted in the ceiling central between the two cars so it's going to be a little bit different installation kind of interesting kind of unique um so yeah this was 289 dollars and then also you're gonna to have to buy one of these guys right here you're gonna to have to buy a cord so this is a 30 amp 10 gauge four wire cord i mean it unless you have a three wire of course i mean my, my house has a 30 amp four wire so they buy the right cord and everything that was 11 dollars on ebay so my total out the door cost tax shipped everything $300 even. Alright, so here it is in the center part of the garage. I've been renovating my house, so um, one of the things I did is I added the, the 30 amp wire there. So I've got one car here, and I've got the other car over here, and the cord is right here. Okay, so we took the cap off in the back here. Pretty easy to do, four little screws holding it in place. Now it's kind of interesting here, the instruction says to cut a new hole down here, even though there's a hole right here that's got a little cap in it right here. There's already a cap right here, it says to cut a new hole right here. And so I'm not understanding why, but then I'm looking over here, it looks like there's some sort of network connection or something. There's either a, that's a network cable, actually that's a phone cable, and there's a four pin thing right next to it. So I'm not sure if this thing has options for remote access maybe. I'm not sure what the, I'm not sure what that's for. It's news to me. But uh anyway I guess uh that's probably what this uh what this thing right here is for. Although I would just like to use that. I hate to cut a new hole if I don't need it but anyway I'll follow the instructions. We'll cut a new hole right here. Okay so here it is right here. So I had to you were use a a metal uh, adapter uh, connector right here. Uh, this is actually something I already had. So um, if you want to go out and buy something like that, it'd probably be I don't know another fifty cents or something like that. But I have about ten of these in a bag, so it's not a big deal. So just connect that in, and then you wire it up. Pretty much as it says in instructions. Now, since this is a four wire, it only requires a three. So uh, this green wire is just a second neutral. So it's actually a ground. Uh, this is a, the white is going to be the, the neutral in this case. And then the black and the red are both uh, power supply. Each 120. So for 240 total. Okay, so I gathered some stuff around the house here. So I got some plywood. And some chain. That I already had. And then just some existing screws. Make sure that they're... Um, you know, significant size screws though. Don't use like drywall screws. It's the last thing you want to use. Just use some nice thicker type of screws. And so I just, like I said here, I got some chain. So this is my setup right here. And this is going to be nice because I'll be able to adjust it. If I don't like this height, I can sit there and just adjust that chain up a little bit, get it a little bit higher. And then maybe once I get it more permanent, 
once I get it the way I like it, then maybe I'll come back and put some straps, maybe something like that. Put some straps on it to be more secure. But for now, so another nice thing about this system is instead of having to lift this thing up 20 pounds or so that it weighs, just kind of place it right in here like this while it's down on the ground. And then you just have to secure three little screws in here. These are actually these are actually uh, Torx T30 bit. So you make sure you have a T30 bit, otherwise you won't be able to finish the installation. Okay, here we go. We got it all set up. It's all mounted, plugged in. Kind of got some, uh, not the most tidiest cord condition right now, but uh, it's working. Probably massage that over time. So yeah, let's go ahead and turn it on here. We got a switch right here. See what happens. All right, there it is. So it does have some circuitry in it. I don't think it's just a cord adapter. I always like to think of these things as being kind of cord adapters. These are, you know, they're not really like a charger. I mean, a charger is actually on the car, so. But there is some GFCI protection, I believe, and some other stuff like that. So yeah, let's see what happens here if we just unplug this dude. Plug it right in just like this. Lights are flashing. There we go. It's on, baby, it's on. Looking lovely. Yeah, this promises to charge up the car probably in two and a half, three hours as opposed to about 12, 13, 14 as it was before. So, yep, it's rolling. Now this puts out 6.6 .6 kilowatts. That's how much the, the car charges at, which is at about 27 and a half amps. And this charger is capable of going to 7.2 kilowatts. So, but that's at, that's at, at 30 amps. And I'm running this on a 30 amp circuit, so um, I really don't want to be putting out 30 amps. I really want to be under that. Usually you have to be 20% under. So I should be running this at 24 amps. It'd be super safe. But uh, it is still 9% under the rated amperage. This being a 30 amp circuit. So this thing is limited. It will not put out anything more than 30 amps. So it should still be safe. It's not going to go over. Plus there's also a circuit breaker, so that's going to be a second secondary protection not much else to say if I have any problems in the future I'll let you guys know but otherwise it looks like a successful install and as far as the chains and everything you know with the, with the weight of this thing being a good 20 pounds or so plus the plywood being maybe another two or three and the hook and everything it's probably in the plus the cord yeah we're probably this thing's probably about 30 pounds or so I would say 28 29 pounds maybe seems to be pretty solid even with the chain when it wasn't loaded it wasn't quite as good, but now that it's on here, it's actually pretty solid. And I can adjust the height as I want with that chain. So yeah, it looks pretty good. And um, yeah, so it has an on-off button. I guess if you want to save more power, I believe it's standby is at 4 watts, which is not much, but it's still something. So you can turn it off if you don't want to turn if you don't want to pull the circuit breaker. So please like if you like this video. If you found it helpful please subscribe and thanks for watching many more videos to come